How's it going, my fellow collectors? This is Link's Reviews, and I'm Link, and today we have part one of the Eternals Funko Pop line. We got number 727, 728, 729, 730, 731, and 732. Let's get right to it, shall we? Number 727, the betrayer Icarus, the killer of Ajax, the betrayer to the Eternals. They betrayed his team. Just check it out. Box is in semi good condition. It's slightly warped inward, but that doesn't really matter to me. Let's get it open, shall we? Now I'm doing this in two parts because this is a big Funko Pop line and I don't want like a 20 minute video. Otherwise, I might even approach 15 minutes on this video and even then I find that very long. Comes with a dynamic base, which is nice. Shows off his flight ability. Check him out. Obviously, since he comes with a base, he stands up really well. Looks absolutely amazing. Love the colors. I really like the suit in the Eternals. I really just like the Eternals movie in general. This was a really cool movie. Super cool. Let's get a close up and check out for any defects. I don't see any defects, but dang, does the metallic blue on him look absolutely amazing for his suit. Looks so cool. I always, I also did really like the one strand of white hair for his hair. I liked that it was, it was really cool. I mean, he looks young, but that shows like a sign of he being like, very old, but like ageless almost. Show gave him like a look of maturity at the same time. Super cool. I don't see any defects. Any oh, there is a bit of his uh, facial color onto his um, hair, just a little bit on his right side of his face, but very not noticeable if you're looking at it straight on. Only if you're looking at it from an upward position. Still looks really cool. I would give this one a nine point five out of ten. On to the next one, we have number 728, which is Cersei. Now, I do have the Targ exclusive as well, but I'm, in my opinion, it's not really special enough to show. If you want me to show it, um, leave a comment down below in this video, and I will show it in the second part. But to me, it's just, I want to focus on the main line. It looks pretty cool. Here we have Cersei. Her box is in excellent condition. Let's get it open, shall we? She has her sword, or, or like, light spear. I don't know if it's like a... I don't know what it is. It's like a staff or it's not really a sword. Still looks cool though. I can get it out of the box though. She does come with a base, which is excellent. I don't know what the Eternals were making. Uh, uh, making a Pacific robot or like android that was meant for compassion and understanding of the other species. And not expecting it to turn on them when they could. When they, especially when they found out you were going to literally uh, destroy the planet that she's been spending forever on. St she still looks absolutely amazing though. Her powers are totally OP though. Super cool. Transmutation on that scale? Insane. Just looks absolutely amazing. It's like she's slightly looking up at the battle. I don't know if that's just because the spring for her head is slightly bent or is that she's fighting someone taller than her. Still looks absolutely amazing. I don't see any paint defects. Besides, maybe the spring could have been a defect. I'm not sure. They are bobbleheads. They do have a tendency to warp. Still looks absolutely amazing. Super cool. The paint detail is absolutely amazing. Another, uh, the first 10 out of 10 out of the bunch. Let's get on to the next one, which is number 729, Thena, played by the wonderful Angelina Jolie in the movie. Looks absolutely amazing with her weapon, her like spear slash axe. Looks super cool. Let's get it open, shall oh, we? Obviously, the precursor to Athena. Let's get it open. Wow, this, this base is deep in here. I also like that when they use their powers, they have like gold eyes. 
All right, where's the base for this one? Here it is. Here we have Thena in all of her pop glory. Looks super cool. Obviously ready to just start to fight some deviants. Maybe Crow. Looks absolutely amazing. Let's see if there's any defects. Looking at the first off of the hair and the skin tone, I don't see any paint transfer. Her axe looks nice. Her hands aren't globby. Looks really cool. Absolutely amazing. Although, I don't know. It looks like it's matching on the other one, so it might be the point. There's some, like, gold flakes on her legs. I don't know if that's supposed to be or not. I can't remember from the movie if she had those gold colorings on her leggings for underneath her boots. I can't remember. Still looks really cool, so I'm going to take that as a positive. And it looks like this is another 10 out of 10. Oh, I took off the base on accident. One uh, minus, I guess you could say, is it doesn't want to stay on the base that well. But still nice. All right, so the next up, and the saddest one, it's number 730, Gilgamesh. Oh, poor Gilgamesh. At least he died protecting the one he loved, Thena. They do have a chase version of Gilgamesh, which is Glow in the Dark. I might or might not be able to get it one. Um, it's at the local Walmart that's in my town, so if I have the chance to get it, I will, but I don't know. It's not really that important to me. Alright, let's get it open, shall we? Chases are cool and all, and it would be my third or fourth chase that I would own, but still, not the end all be all. If I don't get the chase, it's not the end of the world. He does not come with a base. Hopefully he stands well. I'm hopeful and doubtful at the same time. And he stands up really well. It's really nice that they chose that stance for him because I do know with pops with wider stances, they do stand up better. Stands up real nice, especially since he's undergoing my turntable that's shaky because of my hands. But he looks absolutely amazing and stands really well. Let's get a close-up. Super nice. Although you only saw him with his armor in the beginning of the movie. He died without armor on. Still really cool though. Gilgamesh, the strongest physically, I think, of all of them. Still died though. Still really, really cool. Absolutely amazing. I love the look of their armor. Love the look of these pops. I don't see any defects. Looks absolutely amazing. 10 out of 10. Alright, we're on to our final two pops. Our next one is, which one is it? 731, which is Kingo, the Bollywood Superstar. Super cool. I uh, just love Kingo. I, although, he did stay out of the final battle, which is unfortunate. But he looked up too much to Icarus, and he couldn't trust himself. Would he be able to stick to their side, or would he betray them? So he just stayed out of the fight. I guess that was the best decision he could have made. Although, he could have made some difference. Unfortunately, he wasn't part of it. Although I'm wondering, I can't remember in the scene of the uh, uh, post credits, did um, did he get pulled with all the others when the Celestial came? Or did was he allowed to stay on the planet? Because obviously Sprite was allowed to stay because she was human now. Although I wonder what's going to turn out for her. I wonder if she we're ever going to see her in a future movie. Does she still have powers? Who knows? He is a slightly... Oh, ooh. Does he really not come with a base? That sucks. And he's very wobbly. Although, once you get into it, get him into it, you know what? He's not going to stand up well, which is unfortunate. This is why I'm not a really big fan of bobbleheads, to be completely honest, unless they come with a base. They don't, they have a tendency not to turn well. So, he stands as long as you get him very still and don't move him at all. Otherwise, He's not going to be able to spin. But it's fine for collectors. You're not going to have him on a spinning base now, are you? Still looks pretty cool. Unfortunately, can't turn. Not very stable. But the paint scheme on him is really good. So, that's a plus. I would give him a 10 out of 10 because... Just because he can't turn well, that's, that's not going to really come up. That really only comes up for me. But still looks really cool. 10 out of 10. For the looks-wise... Bobbleheads are terrible. All right, for the final one, we have number 732, which is Sprite. 
the littlest jealousy. I hate it, Sprite. I mean, seriously. Gonna let an entire planet die just because you love someone? No one should... No, and they don't even reciprocate those feelings. You're not even on their radar. They're in love with someone else, and you're literally going to literally let an entire planet get destroyed for someone that doesn't reciprocate your feelings? What is wrong with you? Now let's get it open, shall we? Trapped in the body of a child, and some would say a little bit of a mind of a child. I mean, that's really petty. Really petty. She doesn't come with a base either. I'm slightly worried. She does have a wider stance, but who knows. She stands up okay. Time for my personal test of the turntable. Stands up really well. So, all high fives all around, honestly. Super cool. See if there's any defects. Uh, there's a slight... Oh, you'll never even notice that. Looks really cool. The costumes on all of these have been absolutely amazing. The detail is amazing. 10 out of 10. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. I am doing part 2 on Friday. So if you like this video, make sure to check it out. You can check me out on Twitter. I do do sneak peeks first uh, 1 to 2 days beforehand. So you can follow me on there. Uh, we're trying to get to 500 subscribers before the end of the year. And if we do, I'll be doing a giveaway. Or at least try to. The last one didn't work out. The, the person that I chose never responded back, never emailed me. So there's still a chance to win that one, plus two more pops for the ones I'm doing the giveaway when we reach 500 subscribers. So if you want a chance to win, make sure to subscribe and share this video. And as always, my fellow collectors, have a nice day and peace out.